It's nearly 2am in the morning and I'm shattered. The BA lounge was closed and the shared lounge was not up to much. I'm pretty rough to be honest and very noisy. Now as much as I'm not a fan of the bling of Terminal 3 at Dubai, for amenities it's in a different league to Terminal 2. It's almost like you're being punished for not flying Emirates. And you know what? I think I will bear that in mind on my next trip to Dubai. And I'll probably fly with Emirates. And I will be back to Dubai. Not really for Dubai itself, but just to relax at the Sofitel Obelisk Hotel. I've just had a fantastic week there. There's a link on the screen now so you can take a look at the hotel in the room. Now, back to this flight. It was originally booked way back in April 2021. And I don't need to tell you why it was cancelled. One thing I will tell you though, was that it was originally booked as a day flight. So I could enjoy the wonders and splendor of the new British Airways club suite on the A350. And indulge in a glass or two from the BA sellers and enjoy a lunch at 38,000 feet. However, that was not to be, as the only scheduled flight on the A350 was the nighttime flight, and the plain geek in me overruled the sommelier and gourmet inside my mind. Now, I've left the boarding footage as is, as it does portray what it felt like boarding. Boarding was through one front door, through the small front galley, and the aisle through the suite is very narrow. So my first impression of the new club suite cabin that has had so many rave reviews, well actually, it was. Just trying to stash my that it? Oh my god, that could be several hours. Mm, There's a big possibly. queue behind us coming on, so. Oh, there you go. Some juice would be lovely, thank you. And relax. Now, once I was sat down in my seat, sorry, sweet. I started to see what all the fuss was about. This to me is such a well thought out space. I'm talking of space, I'm not the smallest of passengers and I felt very comfortable with plenty of room. Talking of comfort, all the bedding was from the white company and when I went to bed I slept like a log, that was wonderful. There's also space for everything. Lots of different compartments for phones, glasses, headphones, cameras, etc. Which all shut nicely to give you a large shelf space for drinks, your all-important amenities kit. White company again. Now, this use of space was a very welcome change from the old club world, where you didn't even get the space to stow a phone or a bottle of water at takeoff. So, with everything stowed in its correct compartment, it was time for takeoff and then a look out the window. It wasn't a bad view of Dubai. First things first, let's get the map out. Uh, my one and only sole use of the entertainment system. Uh, that's not entirely true on this flight. I did actually listen to a podcast, a documentary about Bletchley Park, which was pretty cool. So once I uh, played around with the new 3D globe and had a good mooch through that, it was time to see what the table was like. Now again, I wasn't a fan of the table on the old club world and uh, this one I was a fan of uh, I couldn't get it to open at first I don't know why but I couldn't but then once I would found the catch 
comes out, you've got it in an option of two sizes, so it folds open. Uh, nice sturdy table, but of course it's a brand new aircraft. It should be. Uh, if I'd have kept, if I could have kept my eyes open, could have quite easily done some work on that and have my drinks and snacks on the side. Talking of food, great to see a menu again. But when I opened it up, again I had that. Is that it? with the, the limited option of the food. And then of course I remembered that it was 2.30 in the morning and I could barely keep my eyes open. So a small sandwich was probably what I wanted. And in fact, it's what I got. And it was lovely. It was nice and fresh and it was, it was excellent. Uh, regarding drinks. Now regarding drinks. The full offering was there. There was some great champagnes, there was some very interesting wines. I do like the BA cellar, I am a fan of it. But when I was offered, what would you like a drink from the bar, some champagne, gin and tonic perhaps, I just went, I'd love a cup of tea. And that's what I had. I had a cup of tea and some more water. So as much as everything was there that was on offer, I could have happily indulged, but it just wasn't it wasn't the right time i was in the right place to indulge but at the wrong time but first thing that i had to do before i tucked into my sandwich was shut the door because we've got a door and uh, that really did make you feel you were in a cabin it, as you come in as you saw in the footage you feel quite it, it all looks very low down but when you shut the door and you're actually sat in your seat, it really does feel like a very, very good space. So back to the sandwich, had that, then went to freshen up. Uh, bathroom, spotless, immaculate, and movie star lights, which uh, probably didn't show me in the greatest of light. And then it was time to sleep. So I made the bed up. Unfortunately, I was that tired, I didn't get any footage of uh, me actually making the bed up and uh, it was at that point that it was time to, uh, to to crash out and as you can see it was uh, now time to wake up I probably had about three hours but it was really comfortable a really really good three hours sleep and then I started having a mooch around as you can see we've got about an hour before we land just showing you here the controls all the power points USB didn't use them I've got to presume they're all working, it is a brand new plane. I think I said earlier I did have a flick through the entertainment system. It looked all there, all the blockbusters, everything you need, the touch screen to move around. But I did find, uh, yeah me going straight back to the map, but I did find um, the touch screen worked great, the controls in the seat worked great, and the crew worked absolutely fabulous because I declined the order of breakfast and as you can see they realised that I didn't really mean that because I was up in time and yeah it was a wonderful cooked breakfast uh, yeah everything there a little bit of healthiness a little bit of fruit a little bit of yoghurt I did uh, I did clear the plate and uh, it did set me up well so all in all flying at night an absolutely great flight I will be back to uh, to enjoy it during the day so do think about subscribing to the channel there's lots more flight reports on there uh, some fantastic food in the sky with British Airways and with other airlines but as you can see now here we're coming to an end here as we started our descent over London at about six o'clock in the morning still very dark but all in all an excellent flight with obviously a few things that weren't perfect, but in the in the time of the world that we were flying in, can't really complain. Do I think the club suite is any good? I think it's brilliant. Got to enjoy it during the daytime. It's a vast improvement in my mind on the old club world. And at this point, I will say goodbye. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget the like and the share. And happy travels.
Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to London Heathrow Terminal 5. 